The 911 system is a very important a lifeline uh, for the folks out in the real life land that need a helping hand at very critical times in your life, whether that be for medical, uh, fire, police. Um, one of the things that the call takers, which are officially known as certified emergency medical dispatchers, are capable of doing is virtually anything that requires, that will allow us to do it over the phone. They use a protocol that they're trained as a professional to use on each and every call. There are no exceptions. Um, dispatch is one of the most restricted time environments for doing a job on earth. Um, basically 60 seconds, 70 seconds, 90 seconds uh, to do your entire job. I mean, the rest of us I don't do my entire job in the emergency room in 90 seconds. Uh, if, you, if I did, you wouldn't pay me. But they have to do it right by the numbers every time. So what is designed for them to use is, is the medical priority dispatch system protocol. Um, it may seem like they're asking questions that have no meaning to you. Every single question has been vetted over the last 30 years by the National Academies of Emergency Dispatch to obtain a specific objective or more than one objective to determine what their required response is to send the vehicles with the uh, trained personnel, paramedics, EMTs, first responders, firefighters, police officers that is necessary to help you in that particular event. Um, we want to get the right number of people in the right way at the right time to you, to your door. We don't want to not send enough or send too few if, um, or, or, or send too many that then may take those people away from the next, the next call that could come in 30 seconds a mile away. Every question has a meaning. The public needs to answer the questions, answer the questions that you're being asked. Just as if you came into the emergency room and saw me as a doctor and I ask you a question, there's a reason I'm asking the question. The questions at dispatch, though, are streamlined not to take very much time, to be well understood by people having a crisis, and to have those answers interpreted correctly. And when they do that, then they've sent the vehicle, but that's not all. They will then usually use a phrase, the paramedics are on the way to help you, stay on the line, I'll tell you exactly what to do next. And they know exactly what to tell you to do next because they have a series of instructions that deal with your particular emergency, whether that be a childbirth, whether it be a car accident, uh, abdominal pain, um, choking, uh, all the way up to uh, resuscitation using CPR. And they will guide you through every step of it. Many people have been trained in the Heimlich maneuver or in uh, providing CPR when they were in school or during a, a public service class. But when the crisis hits, Sometimes we have what we call paralysis by analysis. Was that compressions? Was that breaths? How many was that? And so what happens is, unfortunately, we've seen this many times. Rather than just doing something, which is better than nothing, if someone's dying, do anything. The dispatcher is there the minute you need them. They're, they're there um, zero minute response time. Uh, and they're there the minute the phone stops ringing, they're just there by remote control. And they will guide you, because they know how to do this, through every step necessary to help you be an effective rescuer, help you help the patient so that they can hopefully survive or have a better outcome, and things that are just specific do's and don'ts. There's a lot of things we don't want you to do that may be of danger to the patient. Uh, we don't want you to pull them out of the car by their head. Um, so they will guide you through this. So in essence, listen, learn, and do. That's, that's my advice to you. And um, the, the EMD is going to help you and knows even phrases to deal with, with events where folks are upset or they're dealing with older folks that have a hard time hearing or little children that may have a hard time um, being, uh, being communicated with. This is all part of their job. So they're sitting there ready to help whenever you need it. If you need that kind of help, call. If you don't need that kind of help, ask your mother.